And one thing I have done is I've used a old material for model making called squadron putty. Puttied in holes where the screws go in. I haven't sanded them yet, but it really does fill in all those uh, obvious cracks and, and such really well. So first thing I've done to this guy, I gave him some teeth and I gave him some horns. I made the teeth and the horns all out of something called Instamorph, which is a low temperature melting beaded plastic. And uh, you can make all sorts of fun things out of Instamorph. So, if you haven't played with Instamorph yet, I highly recommend it. I also drilled new holes for the jaw. Set the holes about, oh, I don't know, a centimeter forward. This allows the lower jaw to hang really low, as though he's screaming. I like that. The other thing I've done, is I've extended his arms. So there's his forearm. And I've extended his legs, or at least the upper portion of the legs. Really wanted to give him a otherworldly. Yeah, there we go. Well, I gotta go way far back for this. There we go. A real otherworldly look. You know, not of this earth. Plan to do some heat gun work to him once. All my Instamorph and uh, Squadron Putty dries. I'll bend the spinal column and the neck to kind of give him a more sort of agonized, twisted look. And I'll do something with the hands as well. But if you look at, you know, the size of this guy versus that guy, he stands easily now well, he stands about a foot taller, so he's now six foot something or other. And his arms are about eight inches longer. And kind of longer in the wrong place, which, for this case, is what I wanted. Now, one could just as easily also extend the lower portion of the arms and of the legs. Again, I'd just take the Instamorph and heat up and shape the right pieces, cut the legs and arms in the right place, and you know, stick them in. But, so that's what I'm working on. I'll uh, videotape up a little bit more when, uh, well, when the weather clears. It's all lucky, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out here and do much. Also, obviously, I'm going to run a sander over some of this stuff to smooth them up. But, then he might get corpsed. Not sure yet. You know, I just got to thinking a side-by-side -side comparison makes some sense. So, obviously, right-hand side, normal stay and pose, left-hand side, my modified one. And you can tell, look at the arm difference there. Yeah, this guy's able to rest back on his elbows very easily. And then the legs, again, you can see it's a solid foot difference there. This kind of keeps on going. Look at his pins! Oh my god, what gams! I'm trying to think of any other good 1950s legs and pins and gams. Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, making them more otherworldly. And you can see again here, old guy, see where the screws go into the spinal column there? New guy, just use some of that squadron putty. Boy, you just can't see him. It looks awesome. Same thing, neck. See the screws right there? Neck, can't see him. You can do it all over the place for these guys. Uh, really does help the illusion, you know, that these guys are real. You might have noticed also that I, I have these uh, straps here. Well, in order to make my new pins for the uh, shoulders, you know, I have to cut away a good chunk of the internal socket there and I think I stripped the screws when I uh, loosened these guys up. 
So, we'll find out, but I think, you know, when I clip these off and push the, the binding position back a little bit, and again, I'll probably use my squadron putty and just cover that up, shouldn't be particularly noticeable by the time I'm done. So, alrighty. Alright, getting closer to corpsing this guy, but I put in some what are ligatures, I guess that's the name, sinew. This was done by just uh, some string and hot glue. Let me give it that, there was once some muscle there look. Put a couple on uh, hands, and in between the bones that's still drying there, so it still very much looks like string. And same thing over there. I'm trying to give it just some uh, additional features. All right, corpsing soon. So somewhat amazingly, they let me out of my crypt again so I could work on this. And uh, I have largely covered it with plastic at this point. And uh, I like how the, the uh, sinews and such I put in here showing up. I hit that with a heat gun, kind of pull out some more of that detail a bit more. But uh, for something quick, it was pretty all right looking. So, no more heat gun work, and uh, I'm going to move on to staining. Well, I think I've got enough stain on my hands for one evening, and I'm losing light. But uh, there's the back of this fella. I'm wondering at this point, this might be basis for a skeleton of a slender man or something. I don't know. But highlighting a little bit more uh, staining, maybe a little more plastic and heat. But uh, we're almost there. <laughs> 